Hey there friends of Falcon, it's Darren here again with our next unboxing video. This time it is Calico, the board game. This game is part of the Falcon Gaming Library, sponsored for this year by Eastridge Games. Check them out at ergames.ca. Calico is designed by Kevin Russ. It was published in 2020 by Flat Out Games, and the art was done by the illustrious Beth Sobel. My apologies for any mispronunciation, but I think I got all those ones right. According to the publisher, Calico is a game for one to four players in 30 to 45 minutes, ages 14 and up. At the time of recording this video on Board Game Geek, Calico has a rating of 8.0 and a weight of 2.13. It is currently ranked 982nd overall with over 100 ratings. The elevator pitch for Calico is sew a quilt, collect buttons, and attract cats. Okay. Mechanically, this game includes tile placement, set collection, and pattern building. Okay, let's have a look at this. This box is uh, smaller than a Ticket to Ride box, obviously. Um, AEG was also helping in the publishing from the looks of it, not just flat-out games. Um, it is heavy it's a heavy box so it's quite full and uh it has a very americana quilting style so let's have a look inside the box um standard thickness box it's not overly heavy but it's also not super flimsy Good. We have a rule book. We'll start with the rule book this time. Because, well, it's on top. This rule book is 16 pages long. It has a pretty cat on the front cover. Calico cat. It's not even a calico cat. I don't know why they call it a calico game, but didn't put a calico cat on the front of the box, on the front of the rule book. All right, it is a competitive quilt making, cat collecting, tile laying game. I gotta say that's unique for my collection. I have a quilt quilt making game somewhere. I have a cat collecting game and a tile laying game, but I don't have one of those all three at once. All right, we have dual layer quilt boards. We have a bunch of pat of patch tiles. There are a bunch of design goals, some black and white patches, some scoring tiles, cat tokens obviously, button tokens, a button scoring tile, and a master quilter tile and a score pile. Score path. We have the beginner setup, which is for your first game. Shows you a nice little layout for a two player game. That's fine. This game does play up to four, I believe. Yes. We have the standard setup. So they do have the next, what you do in game two or three. Your gameplay overview. What do you do on a turn? You must perform steps one and two. Choose two patch tiles from your hand and place them on your board. Choose one of the three patch tiles and take it into your hand. All right. Um, you have design goals. It explains how to interpret what a design goal means. Um, some examples. How to do cat scoring, because cat scoring sounds like fun. And button scoring, so there's obviously two ways to score points. And then final scoring. Some variants, if you want a family variant or a two-player variant, and a solo mode. Scoring tiles, how each one of them work. There's the cat. He's a Tibbet. Her name is Tibbet. Design goal tiles. I'm not quite sure what this. This is achievement cart. Uh, a calico achievement. So this is something where they want you to mark up in my rule book. Maybe I'll add another sheet. Um more achievements on how to get just different ways to track how well have you done at this game. Scenarios, and you get to eat the, the live cats. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, and then a uh, breakdown of the, who the Flat Out Games guys are and who helped them put this game together. Excellent. All right, let's have a look what else is in the box, because like I said, it's pretty full. And it's full because the first half of the box is tile boards, punch boards. They are 
pretty decent thickness. Apologize, I'm way off center on my viewing here. And we have what I guess are buttons, rainbow buttons, moons, no blue, no yellow hearts or anything like that. Mushrooms, teardrops, and Nilly the cat. Excellent. This is page one, uh, tile one. And back side of tile one, it's pretty much like tile one, except there's some markings on Nilly. We have patches and cat tokens. There are seven of these, I guess. And the back side oh, is just denoting it's a patch token and how many points they're worth. Okay. I'm just going to move quickly. Three, four. Oh, we have scoring tiles. And the scoring tiles have a different back. They do. They have colors. I hope the colors aren't important. So then I'd have to mark them up. Number six has some more cats, has that button scoring, and some cat scoring tiles. And the last token board has your master quilter and a bunch more cats. That's a lot of tokens. That's going to be fun to punch. We'll do that later. We have a calico bag. I think tokens go, uh, the patch tokens go in the bag. It's a decent size. I can fit my hand in it quite nicely which I'm happy for. It's pretty, very Americana quilting style, heavy. We have a score pad wrapped in plastic. Okay. We have a bunch of baggies. You can never have enough baggies. And now we have, oh, these are nice. I'm in light pink. We have a dual layer. Maybe two dual layer. Oh, my, just crazy. No, they are dual layer. They seem very awkward, but they're dual layer, and they hold your patches. And I guess there must be a player color, because this guy is the back of this. There's a yellow one. Other than that, they have some different colors around the outside edge that may or may not work with your scoring. And there are four of those tiles left in the box and insert not really a useful insert most for shipping so goodbye and uh, yeah as we can see that's what's in the box so calico i'm um, doing a cat themed recording day so this is my second cat recording today we did isle of cats i don't know which one's going out first i don't make those decisions i probably should but um, this is another family weight tile laying set collection game with a really cute and adorable theme that will bring in families and uh, it's a non, it has some player interaction from looks of from choosing tiles, but there's no, it doesn't look like there's any real take that. So I think it's going to be a great family friendly weight game. And I like to have those in the library so that parents can play with their kids and their kids can beat them at games. Well, once again, I want to thank you guys for checking out our unboxing video of Calico. I want to thank Eastridge Games for sponsoring the Falcon Gaming Library this year. Check out falcon.com for more information about our convention and our meetups in the Calgary, Alberta area. Please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll try and answer as best I can. In closing, I'm Darren with Falcon, and I want to know, are you game? Thanks, and have a great day.